Hello and welcome back to another episode of Vodka with Veronica. Today I wanted to talk about common fashion mistakes. I'm going to break it down by piece of clothing. Number one. This all revolves around people who wear pants that are way too long for them. This is both male and female. In today's day and age, they sell so many different pairs of pants that are different lengths, so I'm not sure why there's an issue with getting pants that fit you. <laughs> also, there's so many ways to hem your pants. I'm gonna do a video on that, the million ways to hem your pants, even if you don't have a sewing machine. Especially if it's some sort of dress pant, either part of a man's suit or for women, a pair of, of ladies' trousers, they just, look so terrible when they're too long. And then the bottom gets all chewed up. It just looks so bad. When a man is wearing a suit and the, sh and the pants are too long for him, it looks like he's wearing his dad's suit. You know what I mean? In particular, in Canada here, with the weather the way it is, it is currently February, when your pants are too long for you, then it just sucks up all the salt that's been put down to try and melt the ice. And then it gets these big white salt stains up the back of your leg. It's just not a good look. It really isn't. Get proper fitting pants. Number two. Just like pants, sleeves that are too long in a jacket look awful, especially in a blazer, male or female. If the sleeves are too long, it looks awful. I see men sometimes, you know, men that maybe aren't as tall as other men, and they literally have to spread their hands apart when their hands are down by their sides. They literally have to spread their fingers apart to keep the sleeve from falling all the way down to their fingertips. When you go into a suit store, they are typically sold in three different sizes. Say take a, a size 40 suit. They are so sold in 40S, 40R, and 40T. Short, regular, tall. I know short men don't wanna say they're short, but I promise you, if you actually put on the 40S as opposed to the 40R, it's gonna fit you a lot better. Trust me. It's not even just the length of the arms and the legs. The length of the body of the jacket is a little shorter too. And it just looks so much better. And no one's actually gonna go inside your jacket and go, oh my God, that guy's a 40S, that's hilarious. We all know you're not tall. <laughs> just buy the S, buy the short. I'm gonna do a whole video on that as well. Men's suit shopping. Now this is something I see so often when you buy a suit or sometimes a winter jacket, they have a tag on the sleeve. It usually has the logo of the company that made the jacket or the, or the blazer or whatever. It is not meant to stay there. You take the tag off of the sleeve, take it off. I know it's a beautifully embroidered tag, looks really pretty. Maybe you want people to know you just bought a Ralph Lauren suit, but it's not actually meant to stay there. You just, there's usually like just a couple little tacks on either side of the label of, with thread. You just clip those off, just clip them. Super easy. Most blazers and jackets sold in stores have a few different things sewn down or sewn together just for ease of transport and when people are trying it on and off just to make sure that it lays flat, but you're actually supposed to remove those stitches. For instance, you have a blazer the pocket of the blazer is usually sewn down. There's just usually a stitch right across, but you can usually just sort of like either get a, a pair of scissors or like the tip of a pen and just pull at the thread and it usually can, can pull right out. There is actually a pocket there. It's just sewn down just for transportation purposes. But at least that's not visible to the naked eye. The back of a blazer or jacket, there's usually a vent and a vent is usually sort of like an open area. See, I can stick my hand right, I can stick my hand right in there. But there's usually a couple of stitches there to make sure that the vent lays flat. You're not supposed to keep the stitches in there, people. It's as easy as just taking a pair of scissors and going, boop, and then you pull the, you pull the threads out and then it's good to go. I mean, it's really that easy. It's very, very obvious when you're walking and the vent is opening at the top, but closed at the bottom. Number three. Exact same thing happens on dresses sometimes as well. There's a tack down at the bottom of the vent in the back of the dress. You just need to remove those stitches and then your garment will look lovely. The other thing that can happen on tops and dresses and sweaters, these really annoying ribbons. These are for hanging a garment. Now some garments like strapless things, sometimes some one-shouldered things, 
they usually do actually need these to be in there to hang it up. But more often than not, say if it's a sweater, for instance, and you can just hang it on the hanger, it's really not that necessary. Some of you may like these, and I'm not saying you need to remove them, but do not rip them out. Don't actually rip it. It is actually sewn in there, and it's usually ribbon, and it's more likely just to tear the seam or tear the fabric. So you just need to take a little pair of scissors. You just need to get really close to the seam and snip it. For men's shirts, if you buy a dress shirt in sort of a package, there's usually lots of pieces of cardboard that help keep it just sort of nice for the, for the display. And obviously you take those cardboard things out like underneath the collar and around the cuffs, things like that. But one of the things that a lot of people actually remove that they're not supposed to remove are the collar stays, which are these things. Boop. They're shaped like this. It's almost look like a little pencil, but they're actually in there to help retain the collar's shape and make sure it's nice and stiff. Some of them are enclosed and you can't remove them and that's great. Ones like this that you can actually pull them out, you should pull them out when you're washing and then drying and pressing, especially pressing the shirt because oftentimes they're made of plastic and it can melt your iron and it can also ruin the shirt itself. So you can take them out and put them in a little pile and then after you press them, you put them back in. But those are actually supposed to remain in there, as I said, to help retain the shape of the collar and make sure that it has a nice point. It has a nice little point on it. Number four. I find it very odd that so many men wear shoes that are way too big for them. And I see it a lot. You can see where your foot bends and then there's so much more room in the toe after that. And it, it clearly your foot is not that big. And maybe you're trying to fit for the width of your, of your foot, but they also sell shoes that are in different widths. So that also makes me not understand. It just looks like they're really floppy and I see it a lot. And I, I, I find it very peculiar. The number one pet peeve I have about shoes is uh, mostly women, to be fair. When you buy a pair of shoes at a store that puts their sticker prices on the bottom of the shoe. Now you get those shoes home, you put them on, you don't see the sticker again. But everyone else sees it. Everyone else sees it as you're walking down the street. Every time you flip your foot up, you can see the price sticker on the bottom of the shoe. Everyone can see it. Everyone. Just like the tag on the bottom of your jacket sleeve, People who buy handbags and it has that sort of like little extra little tag that comes on it, it usually has the label of the designer bag or, or whatever company you bought it from. It's not really supposed to stay on there, is it? And I get that you want everyone to know that you bought a coach bag or, you know, Michael Kors or whatever it is that you bought. Um, but that's really just sort of an extra little thing. You can take that off and use it for like a keychain or a luggage tag or whatever, but it's not really supposed to stay on the purse. It's just sort of an extra little branding thing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next Friday. Cheers.